Afmal, before we go inside, there are a few things you should know about Haley. She's my apprentice. However, she is young and oftentimes naive. She may be prone to saying rash things. She doesn't come from a very kind background. I see. Uh, pardon me for asking this, Lucinda, but the way you're putting it makes her sound like she's ill-tempered and far too outspoken. Is putting someone like that in charge of the lordship here a wise decision? I I'm not saying her age has anything to do with it, but... You know lords don't have the luxury of just venting our anger and speaking ill to others without some dire consequence. Not just for us, but for our people as well. I know this, and you're right. She does have a temper and doesn't know how to hold her tongue. However, given time, I'm sure she'll make a great lord. I trust your judgment, Lucinda. I would never doubt it, but... If you really do trust her as you're telling me, then you shouldn't feel the need to warn me. I guess that's the only part I found concerning. <laughs> what can I say? I worry about her too much. In a weird way, I guess you could say she's almost like a daughter to me. <laughs> I understand. I myself feel like I haven't really let Levin and Malachi go yet. Levin, Malachi, how are they? They were just babies when I last saw them. Uh, <laughs> they're doing wonderful. Uh, but recently they've been through a lot lately, and, uh... Oh, I see. We, we can discuss that another time. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Just being around you makes me remember a simpler time in my life. <laughs> it's really relaxing. I honestly feel the same way. She smiles. Now, what are we waiting around for? Let's go meet Haley. Alright. Haley! L Lucinda. Haley, I've received your message. Tell me of the missing mother and child. I will, but first, tell me. Who is this you brought with you? Ah, I'm sorry, Haley. This is Afmal, a very old friend of mine. Afmal, this is Haley, the Lord of Picaro Village and my apprentice. Uh, uh, hi, it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Lord Haley. Pleasure. You could stand to be a little bit more formal than that. Now isn't the time. You should always be formal to those you first meet. Lucinda! Master Lucinda, I've... I've failed. Haley, calm down. Tell me what happened. Lucinda, this is all my fault. I couldn't keep the spirit of Ivan in check. You what? Uh, please, Master Lucinda, I'm so sorry. How come you did not summon me for help? Uh, I wanted to do this on my own. When it comes to the lives of your people, your pride comes second. Where is the father? He's outside talking to the head guard. Th this... This... Fine. Haley, I'm sorry for losing my temper, but you do realize what this might mean? You stay here and use your crystal ball to try to find the missing mother and child. I'm going to speak with the father. Afmal, pardon me, but I must tend to this immediately. Lucinda. Uh, Lucinda. Uh, she's sobbing quietly. Uh, are, are you okay? No. I've disappointed my master. Uh, I'm... Forgive me, but... I can't comfort you. I don't know the severity of what's going on. Heck, I don't even know what's going on at all, honestly. How do you know, Master Lucinda? Uh, a long time ago, under very dire circumstances, we were prisoners to a werewolf tribe, but managed to help each other and escape. Since then, we've been together for, well, were together for a very long time. So you are Afmal, then? Uh, yes. 
Lucinda told you my name. <laughs> no, you are the human she speaks so fondly of. Huh? When I first met Master Lucinda, I was in dire circumstances of my own. Something I don't really want to get into. Back then, I hated humans for what they did to me and how they treated me because I was a witch. Then I met Master Lucinda. She was kind and gentle, something witches aren't, usually. She took me in and gave me a home. It was only after I looked to her as my master that I discovered she, herself, wasn't a full-blooded witch. She was half. Um, uh, pardon me for asking this, but what's the difference? Master Lucinda is powerful. Far powerful than any other witch or warlock I, myself, have ever encountered. I always wondered if her being half-human and half-witched blessed her with these powers. But I've yet to meet another half-witch, half-human before. In any case, when I first met her, she... She would reference you a lot. She spoke very fondly of you. Truth be told, I've been jealous of that. Uh, I... I'm sorry? It's not your fault at all. I've just never had someone myself before Master Lucinda, and now I'm in charge of, an in of a village entirely of humans, and I failed Master Lucinda. Horribly. Haley, what happened? Can you tell me? Before me, Master Lucinda had a boyfriend named Ivan. Ivan was a warlock, and Master Lucinda loved him. Very much. When Master Lucinda brought me to Picaro Village, I knew something was wrong. The snow was so unnatural. There was also a dark, ominous feeling about it. Something so powerful it made my hair stand on end. I asked Master Lucinda about it, and she told me of Ivan and how he used Master Lucinda. Ivan told her he wanted to make the world see both witches and warlocks in a new light. He wanted to prove that witches and warlocks could be good, the same ideals Master Lucinda has prided herself on. They were a couple for a few years until Ivan used all the knowledge he gained from Master Lucinda and started to wreak havoc and, havoc and kill the innocent. Uh, uh. Master Lucinda was heartbroken. Alas, she managed to put her feelings aside and slayed Ivan, but... Before he died, he cursed himself and bound his essence to this land, causing the land to shift and ice to spread. <laughs> Master Lucinda bound shards of her own essence to her staff and since then has been using her spirit to keep Ivan's at bay. I've been learning from her to do the same. <sighs> That's a lot to take in, but... I mean... I don't even know what to say. Why do you have to keep it at bay, exactly? Because Ivan's physical form is gone, which means he is no threat. However, should he manage to find a way to use a human body to revive himself, he could come back. In spirit, Ivan manipulates the elements to cause people to wander in the snow for days, eventually leading them to their death. He'll take this as a chance to use the body to host himself. Should it be a suitable host... Thankfully, that has yet to happen, but as of recently, something has been off. I feel, and Master Lucinda can confirm, his essence and spirit are becoming stronger. Wait, what? What's causing it? We... we don't know. All we know is that we've been on high alert and making sure people in the region are safe. Since the increase in Ivan's presence, we have yet to lose a human to the, in the elements, but today I lost a mother and child. It's all my fault. I felt a sudden surge of dark energy in my spirit from out of nowhere, and now just- She begins to sob uncontrollably. Uh, uh. Haley? Haley, calm down. Look, if it is that serious, you need to do as Lucinda told you. 
go to your crystal ball and work on whatever she asked of you. I'll go check on Lucinda and me and my guards will help out in any way we can to find this mother and child. Th thank you. Haley, please, pull yourself together, alright? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm on it. Good. I'll go check on Lucinda. Uh, good luck. Now, to go check on Lucinda. Uh, Lucinda? Lucinda? Uh, hey! Afmau, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to hold off on everything. I need to find these missing people. Lucinda, Haley told me everything, and I'm here to help. Glad to know. Tell me, what exactly did she tell you? Um, everything I need to know. Does the name Ivan ring a bell? So, she told you the story in that much detail then. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to explain. We need to head out now. Uh, where, where to? The father of the mother and child told me they were headed toward the orchard. We need to get there now. All right. Let me go get Lawrence, Aarons, and Travis. They could be of great help to us right now. There is no time. I need to go now. Uh, wait. L Lucinda? Wait! Uh, I said there's no time. Uh, I'm not losing you, Lucinda! Stop! Wait for me! The mother and child were here picking apples. Uh, wait, in such weather? Uh, uh, not even that, apples grow in these conditions? <laughs> Witchcraft. Also, apparently the mother wanted to bake a treat for her family as a surprise. Uh... Oh, no. Where could they be? Let's burn and search. Right. Uh, I'll go this way, then. All right, a mother and child. That couldn't be too hard to find, now could it? Um, let's see. Every nook and cranny I should search. Which means, even in the caves. Uh, wait. It looks like someone's been here. Uh, Lucinda! Uh... Let me just check. Oh, uh, uh, oh, little one! Oh, are you okay? I. The baby is wrapped up and cozy. She's sleeping soundly, even though the storm is picking up. Uh, all right, that's fine. Um, don't ah! worry. Ah, Lucinda! Uh, uh, Lucinda screaming. The baby's asleep, it's fine. I'll be back, little one. One second. Lucinda! Lucinda! Oh, no. Lucinda! Oh, it's cold. Lucinda! Wait, what? Lucinda! My sword? My things? What did you do? What's this? A field mouse? <laughs> Back off before you end up like this witch. Uh, Lucinda. <laughs> you pathetic fools. This body is perfect. Finally, I'm able to take on a physical form. Wait. Are you... Are you Ivan? Look at you. Knowing my birth name. What a shame it will be the last name you utter. Thanks to these shadow souls, I've been able to increase my strength. Lucinda, you beautiful fool. How dare you try to give witches and warlocks a good name. Don't you know we are meant to be feared by the weak? Now kill them! Travis! Wh what is this? Well, look at you. Must feel pretty strong to take over a helpless woman and her child, huh? <laughs> What's this? A demon? No, your spirit screams. A warlock? A human? What are you? The one who's going to put you to rest. <laughs> that cheeky voice. You won't be calm for long. Your life ends now. Travis, you... Afna. 
I need you to lend me your strength. The, for what? Y you saved her! Uh, I'm going to rid this land of the warlock who's inhabited it. Impossible! No one can do that! I can. My mother did it once before to the demon warlock. And I can do it again. I just can't do it alone in my current state. The demon... Warlock? Wait, how do you... Trust me, I can do this. But Afmal, I need you to help me now. Uh, but what can I do, Travis? Lend me your strength. Here, touch this tome. Your book? <laughs> it's much more than just a book with a map. Trust me. I'll help wherever I can. <laughs>